Hello, I'm Inti. And I'm Kit. And we are the Reaction Geezers. Yes. And drunk. this episode, we're going to be reacting to Dinner Party Freeze Tag featuring Felix. What do you think this song's about, just by the name Freeze Tag? A party? Like dancing at a party? Like, hey, this party's so crazy, it's like a game of freeze. Wait a minute, freeze tag is a. What is freeze tag? Oh yeah, you tag someone and they stay frozen until someone else calls out the name. Yeah, like, well, this party is so cool. It's like a game of freeze tag, you know, we play it. That's my guess. How about you? Well, I, I mean, if I was calling my band Dinner Party, I wouldn't make every single song about parties. Um, I reckon it's political, probably. Oh, no. Just giving that vibe. Oh, no. Very political. It started off so chill and happy. Yeah, the really. The vibe was so happy and nice And it's and still summery. chill and happy, even when he's singing about, I mean... He told me to put my hands up above my head, yeah. Yeah, I think they got the wrong guy. Um, even when he's singing that, the vibe is still happy and upbeat of the song. So yeah, it's weird. It's a weird contrast. It's great. I think it's awesome. It's got that classical soul, that mm. proper soul feeling to it. Um, I noticed something musically about... Uh, actually, I want to see if you can notice it in the, in the, um, in the next bit, because it's something to do with the bars, the amount of bars there are. But I think I'm about to go to work. I've been waiting on the summer. So looking back and wondering how we both to keep it seems pretty normal 4-4 four, four to me. Like it's yeah, going... Oh, oh, I didn't say time signature. Jun, 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 right, jun, yeah, yeah. Jun, jun, right. Jun. Totally normal, regular mm -hmm. time signature. I'm talking about the amount of bars that you would find in a section of music. What does you it do? It, it, it has an extra bar in there. Which is, and you can feel it because the chord seems to be stuck, almost frozen. It, I guess, frozen. They, they, they have a nice, dun 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 dun, and it's just frozen on that chord. Dun, yeah. Dun. And then not only does it freeze on that chord for the last three bars of the the refrain, so usually there's four bars in a refrain. This one's has the has the sort of the beginning chords and then it gets frozen on that chord for those three bars then it gets frozen for an extra bar i did notice that sound of, of yeah it's like you, you're just sampling and repeating the exact same strum of the guitar for those for those beats yeah oh it's nice i really like the vibe what are they what, i didn't listen to the lyrics at all that time i i didn't i was totally tuned out <laughs> <laughs> Man, these lyrics are, yeah, so, you know, heavy and, and meaningful. It's so weird as a contrast with the tone of the music. The music feels like, listen, I'm trying to go, I'm, I'm just going about my day with the dun, mm. dun, 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 I'm just going about my day and it's the same shit over mm. and, and then it gets stuck in that chord. It's the same fucking shit every single day, week after week, year after year. I'm really loving it. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I like it a lot. <laughs> do you think everything we've heard so far is what we're going to hear in the rest of the song? Or do you think there's going to be a different thing, a new thing? And if so, what, what would you put in? Where would you develop this song to? What would you move it into? It's interesting because, you know, usually songs, not usually, but a lot of songs follow the structure of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, middle eight, and then chorus. And usually the middle eight is something different. This mm. one 
This one, I can't really tell if there is a verse or chorus. It seems to just be the same refrain over and over and yeah, over again. Yeah, it's very repetitive and frozen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And obviously an artistic decision. I can't imagine them putting a middle eight in there. I reckon maybe mm -hmm. there's going to be some kind of musical instrument solo, maybe a trumpet solo or saxophone solo. It seems to be, it seems to be horn heavy. Horn heavy? We'll yeah, horn graphic. I'll put my money on a breakdown. I'll put my money on them because they're set. Because you said like, oh, this upbeat um, melody, this upbeat cho um, chords that keep repeating. That's like this guy trying to go about his day, but he keeps getting hassled by racism. Um, so I think they're gonna cut out all of the all of the niceness, and it's just gonna be maybe the vocals and a drum beat. To be like, oh, everything's gotten, everything's gotten messed up now. Like, they've taken my happiness oh. away. Oh, they got the brass. Oh, that's nice. I like the. What's the word? The, how sparingly they use that bass because it just comes in on the on the opening of each refrain so it just goes to boom 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 and then it kind of stops but it just comes mm. in nice and heavy and and oh it fits so nicely i fucking love it when musicians uh what's another word for using something sparingly i can't think of the fucking word using something economically frugally um yeah, minimally. yeah he's very Frugal, frugal. No, <laughs> tasteful, tasteful. Not showy offy. Just, mm. just the, just of like five notes, and that's it. And then he stops. I, I'm interested in, I guess, artistic uh, inspiration. Where where does it come from? Do you think when they put in like a horn section, mm. do you think that directly correlates to the meaning of the song, or is it just a general feeling they have of this feels like it'll be cool to have? some horns here on the one hand you could say wow they've done all these meta things with these with this song so far they've been just repeating the same exact sample sound of a guitar strum over and over to make up these but they've made it sound very repetitive um so then like why would they just say oh i guess it should have horns here no like there's going to be a reason for that or it might be that they say oh yeah we, we've screwed with the song a little bit by putting in all this meta stuff let's put in like a normal song thing now you know it's like it's a funk song let's just put in some horns so i think it could go either way it could go either way i sometimes think with musicians like mm. i don't know I, I mean it's obviously it's obviously not improvised because it's a few horns all playing together so it's not like a sort of moments of improvisational majesty yeah it's they've thought out these notes they've discussed it they're like we're gonna do these notes beep, 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 and they're gonna mirror what the vocals are doing but i sometimes think with music it's it's less thought out than analysts make it out to be and it's just yeah, it's just a feeling between musicians feeling between the lyrics and they're just it almost sounds like a jam. It sounds like a nice jazz soul jam, and they're just really feeling each other, and it feels uh, it feels fucking awesome, and it feels free, and it feels kind of relaxed, and and like everything's just tight, but at the same time not not like unhumanly tight. It's lab. It's slightly yeah. labored. It's it's great. Yeah. It, it does have that kind of improvised jam feel to it, in part because it is quite repetitive. Like, mm. it, there are quite few lyrics, it's the same lyrics over and over. It, it's almost like mantra, mantric. Uh, and yeah, and yeah that, that makes it feel a bit like a jam, because it's like, cool, okay, we've got this thing, now we know what we're repeating. Yeah, yeah we mean, just ride on out. Yeah, because like, I, I think this about, especially music, like, as an art, Obviously, playing music is different to writing uh, plays and sketches like what mm. we do. Um, but writing music, it feels like maybe the maybe the keyboard just was like, "Hey, I've got these, I've got this little refrain," and then the bassist sort of jumps in and he's like, mm, "This sounds nice," and they're just rolling around and the, and the lyricist mm. hears it and he's like. 
this fit this is making me feel this so I'm gonna start saying these words and the horns looking at each other and yeah it just it just really feels like an organic it feels like an unplanned out organic sort of great capturing of the moment that they're trying to do wow that is an achievement when they're playing those two saxophones on their own at the end you can hear really tinnily the rest of the song like it's yeah. coming out of a really tinny speaker so it's like do they have headphones in and they're just playing the saxophone parts to add in later so it's like yeah. you're seeing inside the machine oh there's something so um i don't want to say the word black because that's definitely the wrong word but there's just something so new orleans birth of jazz just hearing two saxophones playing like that. I don't know why saxophones aren't in the orchestra more. Like in like mm. Mozart and Beethoven, like you never hear saxophones really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is too sexy for an orchestra. Like you can see how like the um the evolution of the guitar and like the evolution of the drums and mm. you can see the evolution of all these instruments has been like maybe the poor man's instrument like we we learned but like a saxophone is so complicated <laughs> it's like how did saxophones become the sound of sort of jazz players in new orleans like the poor jazz players and yeah you're right more so than a guitar or a or a drums yeah that's really interesting it seems way more complicated than trombone and trumpet in terms of like if you just left me with the materials and you said make a wind instrument saxophone would be the last on the list it just looks too complicated what would be the first on the list recorder a, a trombone because you don't have to have any buttons on it it's just like a pushy oh i get i, th I think i'd i'd sooner make a recorder because you know get a piece of bamboo stab some holes in it put your fingers <laughs> over the holes there you go I would make a, an electric guitar. That'd be a good wind instrument. What would you give that song out of 10? Lyrically, um, is this a good political meaning to the lyrics? Yes, of course. Um, so I'd give it a high mark for that. Uh, I could also give it just like, how do I feel? How do the lyrics affect me? Uh, yeah fine but then i'm probably not the target audience for these lyrics i think you are the target audience mate i think that's <sighs> specifically for people who think they're not the target audience it's like well, we want those people to know yeah yeah that makes sense catch our podcasts on uh any podcast platform we've got the unknowledgeables we've got love pill the musical we've got uh, Kit's feminist sketch show, which I never remember the name. Why ever. can't you remember the name? Because you changed the name. It's called the second sketch. Second sketch. The second sketch. I'm gonna remember that next time. Cool. Um, smash that. Like what? Ding ding ding! Today? Hit that bell. Smash that S bell. Smash the button which makes the video play again. Not too hard. And just watch, and just you watch break it your again. computer. Yeah, smash it gently. <laughs>